Hi everyone, and welcome to the third uh, portion of my basic HTML uh, video series. I've already covered tables and uh, just basic tags and how you create a tag and an attribute and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this stuff. I'm going to get started with div tags. And before I actually do that, up in my header sec or my head section of my website, I'm going to create a style tag. And what this is going to contain is it's going to contain all of my CSS styling, um, which I'm going to do a crash course on that right now. Um, but so I have my style there, and I have to give it a type attribute and do text slash CSS, so it knows what kind of um, information this tag contains. So now if I do body. So I'm setting my body selector so the actual body tag itself is getting a padding of zero and a margin space of zero pixels. And you just give it your selector attribute, so padding, colon, and whatever you want that attribute to be. So instead of having an equal, size, equal sign, you have a colon. And you have to have this semicolon at the end or else it's going to cause errors. So I have that. And now let's say I want to go in and do a div tag. And I like to use IDs for my layout and then classes for stuff that, I, that might be reused or um, can be stacked on top of each other, which I'm going to get into that in another video. But I have my div tag here, give it an ID of header, close out the div tag, div ID equals menu and then div ID equals content div ID equals footer and the, this is just basically my layout for my page so now if I save it put something in my header this is my header menu content and footer I'm just doing this so that way you can see how it displays in the page so if I refresh you'll notice that they're all stacked on top of each other one tool that I do use and I'm going to use this right now so that way you can see how div tags stretch and the differences and stuff like that is firebug I'm using Firefox and if you wanted to download firebug I would highly recommend it this is what I use to um, edit my CSS styling and basically see how people did things on certain websites so if I click on this little icon down here it'll open up my page and then I can just use this little arrow button here to actually hover over and see what each one of these div tags looks like and how much it stretch it stretches and all that stuff um, but I didn't apply any styling so it's gonna stretch 100 percent of the way and these are gonna tile one on top of the other uh, one change I am gonna make is I'm actually gonna wrap this in a wrapper and what this does whoops, and the reason why I'm wrapping it in a wrapper is because it I can set a certain width and I can center it using styling on that particular wrapper um, ID rather than trying to do each one individually and it'll impact all the ones contained within that wrapper so I have my wrapper wrapping around all of my um, actual styling and my layout uh, structure here. So now if I go over here to a pound, and this is how you um, specify an ID over uh, a class. A class would display as a period and then your class name and pound class ID name for your particular IDs and wrappers and stuff. Um, so I'm going to do pound wrapper and give my wrapper padding of zero oops a width of one oops twelve eighty not going to set my height parameter and then margin 
and this is um, shorthand for margin top and bottom and then margin right and left. So I'm going to do zero pixels and then auto and what auto does is it automatically calculates the uh, the margin spacing that's supposed to go on either side of that wrapper so that way it censors it on the page. You'll notice that or you might experience that with I, uh, Internet 7, uh, Internet Explorer 7 and lower you might experience some problems and that's either because you forgot your doc type statement so try putting a doc type statement in or um, because uh, this margin auto is not taking effect and to correct that you do text uh, align center and then this one you just do text align left and that'll just return it back to everything within that wrapper will get a left justification as opposed to having a center uh, alignment so now if I save this and refresh my page you should notice that this bumps out to the middle which it does and then if I look at my div elements you'll see that they are a little bit smaller than they were before so they have their correct width so if I want to style my header pound header and then do a background and I like just using a regular background um, attribute rather than background dash color or something like that because you can specify a bunch of different attributes in this one uh, designator or one attribute and it'll, it'll apply. So if I want to do a dark gray, set my font color, and you might have to do some research on the different um, different styles or, or different attributes that they have for CS, uh, CSS and spend some time looking into it because there's a lot of cool things that you can do with CSS. But I'm going to set my color to white and this uses hexadecimal numbers. So this is shorthand for white full white is actually six characters long but every color will always start with a pound sign so it's always pound to designate that it's a hexadecimal number and then followed by a six character number or, or six character um, identifier so now and then I want to change the height of this as well so now I'm just going to do 30 pixels and I'm going to change the font size Oops, size to 24 pixels and I'm going to save it. So now if I go back out here and refresh you'll see that the page is a little bit bigger. Um, the nice thing about Firebug is you can actually go down to your item, click on it, and you'll see your styling over here on the side. So now instead of 30 I want to do 70. I can edit it over here in this little box here and it'll automatically apply. So I can do my changes to my CSS. It's not going to get saved, so if you refresh the page, it's going to go back to your, your original. But if you wanted to actually edit your CSS, you can go to the CSS tab, click on it, go down, hit ent uh, edit, and go down to your header and change it here. So now I want 70. Control A on a Windows or Command A for a Mac copy it, go back over to my CSS here, and then just paste it in. So I just overwrote everything that uh, I had here with the, the updated version, and if I hit save and refresh the page, it's, it's going to stick. So um, that's just a quick uh, tutorial with that and crash course on Firebug, but there's a lot more that you can do with this uh, tool in Firefox and there's a couple of other ones I'm going to get into in a few minutes um, but I don't have them installed so but now that you know the basics of that I'm going to go ahead in and uh, add the other designators so I want menu content and footer and I think they're all lowercase yep and I'm actually going to stop here um, Of 25 pixels. I'm going to leave my content and my footer is going to get a background. I'm going to try and do this really quick. There. 